If there was a soundtrack from February's ice storm, this would definitely be on it. We all know that sound, limbs and trees falling, and a lot of those limbs and fallen trees have been a headache for a lot of us, but for tree farmers, the damage is devastating. Here you have landowners. This is their retirement uh, fund. This is their son's college education or their grandchildren's college education, and it is completely destroyed. We've got some pretty long-term effects from this ice storm. Mike Smith has been in the forestry business since 1975. He's seen hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts, but nothing like this. We had another ice storm in the early 80s, mid 80s, somewhere along in there that did some pretty good damage, but this one here has really hit us really hard. This map shows you the extent of the timber damage in Georgia. You can see our area was hit the hardest. Burke, Jefferson, Richmond, and Columbia County all labeled severe. And in a business that takes decades to turn a profit, that's a big setback. This stand was probably 10, 15 years max away from a, a major financial income. So, you know, this, this landowner has been set back 30 years, basically. In some of the hardest hit areas, crops of trees called stands in the business have been reduced to splinters. Tops broken out of pine trees, pine trees snapped in half, uh, blown over laying on the ground. All you can do is clear cut it and plant new trees. A process a lot of landowners have already started, rushing to get their product to the mill while they'll still accept it, thanks to an influx of timber after the ice storm. Got all this timber on the market, so the prices have dropped dramatically. So they're not getting the same prices they would have gotten a month ago. You know, you're only going to receive probably 30% of what it's worth out there now. Not a lot of options, except to chop everything down, turn a fraction of the profit they expected, and start over. Now, there's no such thing as insurance in the forestry business. Landowners can deduct some of the losses on their taxes, but that'll barely put a dent in the lost profits. A little bit of good news to pass along, though. The Farm Service Agency is hoping for approval in the next day or so from the federal government for some disaster funding. That'll help refund some of the costs to get the land ready to replant.